today I want to take the one of the courses at Stream Native Academy. Oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, I've been doing some Python. Let's take a look at Pulsar API Essentials. That one looks pretty cool. cool. Let me go in there. Okay, start going through it. Got a couple other languages to look at doing Python today. This goes well. Maybe next week I'll do Java or Go. Oh, we got a video. Okay, thanks Addison. I think we're in good shape there. Oh, this one I'm gonna bookmark. Maybe even save this uh, diagram here. Huh? Oh, real code, okay. So what do I gotta do with my Python code? Oh, a quiz. Ooh, I'm nervous, just like back in college. This hopefully is a little easier. Let's uh, do the lab. This is probably everyone's favorite part. We're doing some real coding. Got to set up some stuff here. I say 90 seconds to start. Okay. Let's. Oh, oh, I got a little less than uh, three days here to finish this exercise. If it takes me three days, we have a problem. Let's see what we got here. Ah, terminal. Cool. Nice. Let's go to the README. Okay. Stub. See two do comments in the code for what to implement. So we need to create a client, and the client is comes out of that Pulsar object. Oh, look at this. IntelliSense working really nice. So we got the public tenant and the default namespace. There's our topic. That's pretty good. Let's run that again. Oh, oh, we see the connection there. Put it in the debug. That looks good. So let's take a look at hello world consumer. We should have message. Whoa, <laughs> that happened right away. You can see there uh, all the old messages coming through yeah, pretty much instantaneously. Really nice. I think this works. Okay, I think we completed everything. Go check the course, all green. That's what I wanna see. We know what to do next. Get more training, get on that Slack channel. Make sure you get your uh, certificate and uh, download it and keep that environment up. You got two more days. I hope everyone uh, liked this. Big thanks to Stream Native for putting this together. This is great stuff. I think I'm ready to start writing Pulsar apps in Python. So let's, let's get going.